Oh boy. Today, in many regards, was a good day. It really was. I got a little story to share with y'all. So stay tuned. This is going to be good. And there's a very important star to this episode. So let's roll this beautiful bean footage. You need to see the shape that this vehicle was in when I got it back. That's a new noise. That's going on. So what we have is another case of someone who kept a car too long and completely fucked it up. I don't know what's going on with the check engine lights. And also, he got impound invoice one ticket another ticket and another ticket now fortunately this was rented under the premium plan so they're gonna cover all of that so I gotta take it to my mechanic and see what's going on with the rest of this all right so, let me show you the condition that I got this car back in. There is some kind of paint on the floor. And I got some stuff going on in the back. And this happened. For the most part, it's okay. But we need to get another one of these. And So, I don't know. Paint. So, essentially, I got this back and I cannot rent it because it's fucked up. So, and whoever got pulled over in this, got arrested. And I'm probably going to prosecute because um, I'm pissed off. So cosmetically, it's not too bad. And this shit with
Okay. Getting gas in the city is a pain in the butt. I mean, seriously. I don't know if it's full or empty or if the gas thing is messed up because this is the issue that we have with this car. So, okay, that's going on. Okay, this is the third stolen vehicle recovered. And you know what's funny? When we get to actually doing the police report, they find these vehicles quickly. I did the report um, Tuesday. No, I did the report Monday and it was recovered last night. And guess what happened? Romy Rome went to jail. Finally, finally one of these, because here, here's the problem. They don't think that anything's bad is gonna happen to them. They think it's a civil matter that I gotta haul them in court and I gotta sue them. So Romy Rome was sitting in the back of a police car in cuffs and I love it. I love it. I love it. So here's the story of Romy Rome. And I put some footage in there because I'm kind of encouraged by this and um, I will get into the details. Romy Rome started off as a good renter and he went into a yard bird. He rented the vehicle for a month and that went well. And then he extended. Then I noticed he went late. And this is like, I actually, uh, there's someone who started off really well and he's consistently late and I just told him to bring the vehicle back because I'm like having to say, hey, when are you going to make a payment every other day? And this is this is a recipe for disaster because what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to actually send him this video. I'm going to send him this video because most of the people don't think anything dire or really bad could happen to them. They, they really don't. So this is why they keep the car. So he started off good and then I hit him up and he hit me up and he said, my wallet and cell phone were stolen. I was like, okay. Now, once again, I'm very, very aware of people being late. So this is what I said. He was one day late and I said, you know what? It's probably going to take you a week or maybe two to get a new credit card. Bring the vehicle back. That's when I started with bring the vehicle back. Start bring the vehicle back. You go ahead and get all caught up and then you can re-rent the vehicle, right? Didn't happen. So we keep going on and going on and Romy Rome disappears for, you know, a week. Then I get this email. I get this message. Hey, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to say this. I'm frankly embarrassed to be in this position. I don't even have gas to uh, bring the car back and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? Tell me where the car is and me and my assistant will come get it. Then Romy Rome disappeared for almost three weeks until last night. <laughs> you know how I know Romy Rome got arrested. He left his pie. <laughs> he could not get to enjoy his pie. Hopefully he's in jail. We're getting some prison loving, getting some prison loving. Cause this is a, a wonderful pumpkin pie that he paid $4.99 for. And he doesn't get to enjoy it. Cause I'm going to throw it away. I, I don't, I'm not a pumpkin pie fan, but he, he didn't get to enjoy his pie because the popo snatched him up. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so happy that this happened. Because I'm going to start sending all my renters this video. Because there are many people under the false misconception that nothing bad can happen. But Romy Rome now knows 
And this is the thing. I sent him the demand letter. I told him what I was going to do. But Romy Rome was too busy out getting his pie, <laughs> getting his pie to pay attention. So Romy Rome was in the vehicle and he got pulled over and arrested last night. So I go back and get my vehicle. All right. And th this Romy Rome's been busy. So there, like, I don't know why Romy Rome removed the floor mats. He took the floor mats up. The car had four floor mats, two in the front, two in the back. I don't know where they are. But Romy Rome was transporting some paint, some paint in the vehicle and spilled paint on the carpet. I was able to peel the paint off of the trim and anything that was plastic, it just peeled up. So we got that issue, which, um, well, let's just go on with it. So let's talk about the damage. So we got the paint. They always bring it back on E, $90 in gas, cause it was on E. When I got it, it said range two miles, common. But this is where we get into it. This is where we get into it. Let me see if y'all can see that. $5,100 worth of damage because instead of returning the vehicle to me, the check engine light came on, the red triangle came on, and another came on, and he was just driving. Just driving. Fucking my car up. So, now the good thing is this, I had the higher car uh, protection plan, the 70% plan, and I'm gonna email them because it don't stop there. Rome be Rome, I don't know what it is with these people in mirrors, but he broke a mirror, the cover's gone, and I took it in to get an estimate. That's $1,068. So $6,100, almost $6,200 worth of damage because Romy Rome wouldn't bring the vehicle back. And this is going to institute a new policy for long-term long -term renters. I don't know if I'm gonna do a bi-weekly inspection or a monthly inspection, because how many times have you seen this? Now, this isn't as bad as the X5, but it's still bad, especially that paint, because a lot of people wanted this vehicle and I can't rent the vehicle with all these issues. Well, you know, I got to get it fixed. And essentially what I'm going to do this time, because normally I would just go ahead and pay and get it fixed and rent it out. But we talking $6,100 that Romy Rome did in damage. $6,100 because he refused to bring the vehicle back. Now, this is the good part about this. He got arrested driving the vehicle. So I don't have to do anything and the system is just going to take his case. And, um, you know, it was a chuckle because uh, I called up the detective. We're becoming friends because <laughs> this is not the second, not the, not the first, not the second, but the third case. And there's one more. I, I just told him, I said, the dude ain't gonna bring the car back because he doesn't feel that he can get in trouble. And uh, I've sent him a letter. And once again, the month of June has been reclaiming my dignity because I get these people like the hippie. She had the car for 12 days. Instead of bringing it back, she just left it somewhere with the key in it. Just left it somewhere and left some weird stuff on the manual. So, oh, Romy wrote, let's, let's talk about this. I, I got a whole folder of stuff. Uh, Romy Rome. Uh, this is the estimate for the mirror. Let's see. That's the estimate for the mirror. I don't know if y'all can see that. And Romy Rome didn't get one ticket. No, 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 no. One ticket wasn't enough. No, 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 no. Romy Rome, let's see. I got a whole little folder here because I submitted all of this stuff 
to hire a car today. Because essentially, um, we had some technical difficulties, but this is the impound fee, 175. Traffic tickets, we kind of went over those. Um, estimate for the mirror, cleaning, $90 for gas, and the big boy. $5,126 to repair the Range Rover. That Romy Rome, the damage that Romy Rome did because instead of bringing the vehicle back, he just kept driving it even though all those warning lights were on. It is um, interesting. I had some conversations with Romy Rome and you know essentially uh this may be a repeat but he was a good renter then someone stole his wallet and at that point i started to say bring the vehicle back because i've seen this happen consistently that once they go one two days late it can it, it can snowball on you so he, he disappears and then he comes back with this story that his manager robbed him but Romy Rome, what about your credit cards? I thought your wallet and credit cards were stolen. And he sent me this message that he had all this money and he was gonna pay me and he was gonna make me good. And the whole time I'm like, just bring the car back. Just bring the car back. Because, you know, I know at some point when people um, get to a certain point, it's just gonna get really, really bad. Then he disappeared for like three weeks until last night. And I wonder if Romy Rome was getting this pie. This pie looks new. Let's see what's the expiration date on it. Um, this pie was made yesterday. So he bought this pie yesterday and he doesn't get to enjoy his pie because he's in jail. <laughs> I like that because essentially I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. He cost me money by not paying me. He cost me money by depreciating the vehicle and he cost me money because of the opportunity cost, I couldn't rent the vehicle to anyone else. So it cost me money three different ways. And I am quite sure that hire car is going to pay me because I've gotten two claims paid. I'm waiting on my first check because essentially I feel that this is gonna move over to Sedgwick. I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna move over but essentially they've got documents that he had the vehicle for 25 days, 26 days, and he did not pay me. And he was just doing all this riding around Atlanta. And he must be a really social person because um, three traffic tickets, but I feel that this is a good month. Now, why is that? I have, I bought 27 cars, right? Now, I lost two today because uh, I sold them for 700 bucks. I'll talk about that because I will do a whole um, exposure of where I'm at financially with this business because I'm just waiting for the month to end. And I feel that this month was good. The first two months, I was taking L's and many of you smart mechanics are coming in the section about, you know, you didn't do your inspection, you could just do this. And essentially, the car was in perfect condition when I rented it. What you guys fail to understand, and what a lot of you wanna blame me is for the actions of the renters. These are adults, they're grown people. I've not rented a car to a 16 year old, I've not rented a car to an 18 year old, I did rent a car to a 21 year old, but most of them are between 25 and 50 years old. And I'm running cars to grown people who don't know how to take care of stuff because I am trying to figure out what was going through Romy Rome's head when that check engine light came on and that red triangle popped up and that orange triangle popped up. That's like danger, real Robinson, danger, real Will Robinson, danger, danger. And mechanic 
who come in, it's like so many cars have been run because someone refuses to pull over and just stop and get the car towed. And, you know, I, I'm just sitting here because uh, when I saw all this stuff, I was worried about driving the car. I took it to my mechanic and he was like, this this is going to be a doozy. You know, he, he just listening to it. He said, that is not good. That is not good. The sound that it is making. And I'm seeing a pattern here. People who are reckless and they're criminals because let's let's make let's let's go ahead and call it what it is to take someone's property and not give it back when they ask for you is stealing. That's what it is. And Romy Rome cost me 16, almost two thousand dollars, almost two thousand dollars by keeping that vehicle. Two thousand dollars plus the sixty one hundred. And this is something else too. This vehicle will now reflect on Carfax as a stolen vehicle. This greatly depreciates the value of the vehicle. So I am potentially stuck with this sucky until I can make some money and sell it two or three years later, two or three years in the future. And I learned this with the BMW because essentially, remember the hippie? And she messed up that car and I, I, I was so close. I almost, the deal was almost done. And then I said it was stolen. And the guy was like, nope, 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 nope. He immediately put it in reverse. Like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't doing this deal. And I, I feel that this month was good because how do you get knowledge? You know, I get this question all the time. It's like, Glenn, how do you get so smart? I took a lot of L's. A lot of you moist men, little moist were like, ha ha. He making mistakes. He losing money. Ha 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 ha. I still got more money than you. You little moist with your little moist self. <laughs> I got more money in my wallet right now than you got in your whole life. I only got like 700 bucks. That's sad. That's really sad. But what I'm learning is I'm learning this business and I had to go through it. And many of you are like, you know, talk to someone, talk to someone. Uh, talking to someone wouldn't have prevented these people from doing what they did. And if someone had, you know, because essentially after the things, you know, Monday morning quarterbacking, after the things happen, it's like GBS kill switches. You know, that's easy to say after the fact. And I can tell you that there are a number of Turo hosts who don't have GPS kill switches. And there's a number of Turo hosts who've been on two, three years and they not had the issues I've had. So once again, uh, what I'm going to do is start pricing my cars like. I had the Porsche and a lot of people wanted to get the Porsche at 70 bucks. And I was just like, that's a recipe for disaster because essentially I'm going to put my cars where they appropriately need to be. I'm going to have the cheaper cars. Hey, this is 35 bucks a day. This is 40 bucks a day. This is, you know, 45 bucks a day. That's for you. That's what you can afford. That's what you get to drive. But the nicer inventory, I'm renting the BMWs. Minimum rental for the BMW is 55 bucks a day. And I can't keep them. I cannot keep them. As soon as I buy one and put it on the platform, within a day or two, it is gone. And this is something that's interesting because typically when I put my cars brand new on the platform, they're on the last page and people find these cars. People be stalking me. But the case with Romy Rome, I, I feel that I'm going to hear from Pumpkin Boy. Let's call Romy Rome Pumpkin Boy because now that he's been arrested, now he understands that there's uh, he, he crossed some lines. I fully expect to get a call or message from him once he gets out of jail. The detective and I had a conversation and the detective, I don't know from experience, he's probably got some girlfriend, something that's going to bail him out. So Romy Rome is probably going to try to reach out and try to work out some. And I'm going to tell him I'm going to need ten thousand dollars to make up for the lost rent, to make up for the aggravation and to make me whole on the loss I'm taking on this vehicle. Because Sedgwick, which is the insurance partner for hire car, is going to take three to four weeks to cut me a check, if not longer, because I submitted it before I did this video and I submitted the traffic tickets. I submitted the law. I don't understand what happened with the key. Uh, I think I need to put a picture of the key uh, in the in the video. I don't know what happened. I, I don't I don't even understand. It's like he took this key and he threw it against the wall and he jumped up and down on it. 
when I was trying to start the car, the car started and went off and I was like, okay, fortunately I had a spare and I pulled out the spare and I put the spare close to it and it, it started up. So he destroyed the key. In this business with paint and I, I, I don't have, I, I have no clue to what was going on with Romy Rome. But I feel that we have like this month, uh, reclaim my dignity because going into September, this ain't going to happen anymore because uh, like I said, 12 cars out of 24 have GPS kill switches and I've got one Range Rover. I've got two Range Rovers. I got another BMW out there and I have one, two Acras. So that's five kill strip switches. That's going to be 17 kill switches. I'm not going to put a kill switch on the Corolla or the 2005 Acura. And I'm getting rid of the Range Rover. I'm getting rid of the Mini. So I'm, I'm trading out of those guys. So I'm not putting kill switches on the cheap cars. And essentially, what I feel, by December, I'm probably going to have a bunch of BMWs. A bunch of BMWs, uh, maybe a few Audis. Uh, I'm keeping the black Range Rover. The black Range Rover has never been in the shop. The black Range Rover has almost made 4,000 bucks. I'm going to keep riding that pony until it breaks. Um, but August will be the month that I'm going to reshuffle my fleet. And I am down two cars. And part of it, and I got to set together a policy of if you're on the long term rental, you got to bring the car by every two weeks, maybe once a month. We got to look at it because people will keep driving your car with the check engine light on. And this car had check engine light on, a red triangle, and Google Land Rover red triangle. That means something critical. And I'm just sitting there like, Romy Rome, just driving, just driving. I'm going to get me some pie, which he doesn't get to enjoy. You know, funny thing about this pie, every time I look at this pie, I smile. Because you don't go get a pie unless you want to eat it. And Romy Rome bought this pie yesterday. It was on his way home to eat some pie and he got pulled over by the police. <laughs> Sir, please get out the car. <laughs> you know you're driving a stolen car. What? No, no, I rented this car. Well, no, it's been reported it's stolen. Get, sir, get out the car. Put your hands behind your back. Watch your head. Watch your head as you go in the car. And I love that. I love that. I was hoping that the hippie would get arrested. She, she's already been arrested, so she already knew what that's about. But I was hoping. But see, uh, I'm going to start sending people this video. And I got another guy who started off as a great renter. Now he's turned into a yard bird. And I sent him a message. just like, look, you know. We all have financial problems. You're consistently late. Let's just call the day and bring the vehicle back. And I told them, I was like, someone got arrested because I asked them to bring the vehicle back and they did not. So we will see if he goes ahead and starts paying because essentially it's kind of annoying to tell grown people that you need to pay your bills. It's like, all right, you need to wipe your nose. You need to wipe your butt. No, no. You got the vehicle. You know you're supposed to be paying me. And I got a group of renters who got the vehicle, who pay me, no issue. And if you can't pay, just bring the car back. That's, that's the whole ask because I ain't mad at you for bringing the car back because you bring it back, especially if it's a BMW, it's gonna go right back out. I mean, literally I had a car come back in at 1030 and fortunately I went ahead and got it washed and you know, the guy brought it back with gas. Thank you, sir, I appreciate that. And 4 p.m. that car went out again. So I'm not mad at you for bringing cars back. I'm mad at you for keeping cars because you costing me money, man. You costing me money and I'm not running a charity, man. I'm not running a charity, but I feel today was good and I have no issue putting out their name, Jerome Fortune. I don't really care because essentially what's going to happen is you're going to get embarrassed on social media because see people be doing this stuff and no one knows. I'm going to be like flicking on the light. Shine, you know, roaches hate light. And I am the light man because I will shine the light all over the kitchen and have the roaches like running all over the place. Because um, 
this this is good. This is satisfying because you know when the 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 people at the impound yard came up, he said, "There's a pie in the front seat, right?" And this pie has been the source of a lot of amusement because I, I'm going to throw this pie away. I'm going to throw it in the trash. I, I'm not I don't, I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie. I don't really want it. But the fact that he bought this pie and he doesn't get to enjoy it gives me immense pleasure. Why are you buying pay pies and not paying your rent, man? Why are you buying pies and not paying your rent? All right, so next week, there'll probably be another Kill Switch story and then they're probably just gonna be about personalities and stuff because like I said, right now I have a BMW, having another GPS Kill Switch installed and that will give me 12 for the 24 and the Range Rover's gone, the Mini's gone, no GPS kill switches, because as soon as I get the title, I'm getting rid of those bad boys, and those were bad buys, and I'm not going to, I got a Corolla, I'm not putting the kill switch on that, because whenever they're done, they just bring that back, I have an Acura 2005, I'm not putting the kill switch on that, I have another Camry, I'm not putting the kill switch on that, I am putting the kill switch on the three, the other two, Acura TLs I have out there. I have two more Acura TLs. So they're getting, you know, and I have another BMW out there that doesn't have a kill switch. That's getting the kill switch. And I probably by August, I will have to buy new kill switches because by August, I should have maybe 26 cars because I, I want to replace the two that I lost. And uh, they may be cheaper cars. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I'm shooting for by August. I have 26 cars and just chill in August, collect data and, you know, do that. All right. So let's talk about the corporate papers. I'm getting every time I do this, I get a people come out the woodwork. Um, why did I get rid of Hustlers Kung Fu? You know why? Because people would find me and they would go to Hustlers Kung Fu. They would go to B School for Hustlers and they would go to becoming a corporate citizen and then they would get confused and they'd be like, what should I buy? So essentially everything's going to channel through B school for hustlers and financial, uh, the savage, fin savage finance. Uh, I will be following people through those. And also right now I've gotten a lot of questions. I have a lot of people who want to talk to me. They want to ask me about questions. They want to ask about support. I had one of the moist men, it's like, no wonder you made a million dollars. You're charging the grip for common information. And essentially, let me go ahead and say something. Until I start putting these videos up here, how many of these kind of videos did you see in the Turo or hire car space? How many? Not that many. So it ain't that common. And essentially, I've shown you guys my pay stubs, I've shown you guys my ATM receipts, and I actually managed to buy not 26 car, 27, including the Porsche, 27 cars in three months paying cash. I actually showed you that. So this is proof positive that my, my methods and methodology are effective and the higher car course is going to be phenomenal because I'm going to tell you stuff. I'm going to tell you things like right now, if you're going to rent on higher car because of who you're renting to, you need GPS kill switches. Once again, you 100% you need them on or your nicer inventory. If you've got some old regular cars, you may potentially, because essentially my GPS kill switches are $550 per car. The cost of the GPS kill switch and the cost of installation. So that's only, you know, I'm not going to put a GPS kill switch on a $5,000 car. I will put a GPS kill switch on a $12,000 car or a $25,000 car or a $30,000 car because what I've seen is, and this is something else too, uh, I recently, all my nicer inventory has full coverage because someone was messing around with my cars. Someone literally took the license plate off a of BMW and put it on the ground. I don't know why would someone do that, but uh, I am being watched. People are paying attention to me. They're seeing all these fancy cars. So essentially anything that they get super nice, is going to have full coverage on it because that will be the car that they would try to steal. Hands down. 
because liability doesn't cover stolen cars. And this is why in August, I'm gonna work really hard to get my commercial insurance because that will include full coverage and for loss of stolen cars and all this other stuff. So I'm gonna be working on that. Also, um, my assistant this week, if you were in the corporate toolbox, you should have the corporate papers added to your login. If you were in the art of holding, she should have added you today. I will check with her tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Uh, we're gonna be sending out some more messaging and stuff. Uh, first live training is Sunday, 5 p.m. I'm gonna be sending that out. I'm gonna be sending out a lot of messages, gonna be communicating. And we're going to start cooking with gas because August is gonna be a great month for my car rental business. It's gonna be a great month for corporate citizens. It's gonna be an amazing month because I'm gonna make it that way. Because like I said, you know, we're almost on the tail end of all of these issues with the car rental business. And I got some videos that I'm gonna do. So if you wanna become a member of the corporate papers, you want to get in now. Uh, below this video, I should have a discount code to get you in. There ain't nothing there. There will st be stuff there probably starting maybe Friday, but I will send you an email and a message and I'm getting ready my assistant. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some corporate paper, corporate citizen swag. I haven't gotten out there. If you got the corporate uh, toolbox, you got uh, the art of holding, you paid in full, even if you're on the payment plan, you're gonna get a t-shirt, you're gonna get some gat, you're gonna get some swag, you're gonna get some swag, so we're gonna swag it up! So that's coming, you ain't gonna have to pay. I'll have my assistant reach out to everyone, get your size and address, so we'll be working on that. And we're gonna start cooking with gas. So you want to get into the corporate papers before August 1st. August 1st, the price goes up, and we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna do. Uh, we're going to talk about trust. We're going to talk about taxes. We're going to talk about business. And here's the thing. The corporate papers is going to be your full curriculum for starting a business. We're going to talk about corporate entity. We're going to talk about corporate banking. We're going to talk about corporate credit. We're going to talk about hiring. Hiring is really, really important. We're going to talk about branding. Like, um, I'm in two to three months, my goal is to hire a full-time Mac Daddy all those person, and guess what? They're gonna have a uniform. They're gonna have a shirt that's gonna have their name on it, and it's gonna be Mac Daddy, probably a Froster front, and they're gonna have pants, they're gonna have a little uniform, and they're gonna have a cap, and they're gonna, I will go out and buy them their uniform and stuff, find their size, get them their, their stuff, and I'm gonna get a bunch of T-shirts, Mac Daddy autos, and everyone's gonna be in the uniform, everyone's gonna have to wear a uniform, and also I'm gonna switch it to a separate phone. It's like when someone calls, hey, thank you for calling Mac Daddy Autos. My name is blah, blah, blah. How may I help you today? And we're going to start training people and getting stuff and start cooking with gas. So if you want to be part of this, because essentially um, there are some YouTubers who talk about building real businesses. Most of them just talk about rainbows, unicorn, and they put blowing smoke up your booty. That's all they be doing to get them YouTube money, get them YouTube checks. Because they don't know how to build a real business outside of YouTube. That's what we're doing. We're building real businesses. And I'm probably going to start two more businesses this year. And if you're in the corporate toolbox, the corporate papers, you will get an inside view of that business. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you. And uh, <laughs> every time I see this pie, I smile. It is hilarious. Thank you. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you next week. We will probably have another kill switch story. Uh, I have a feeling this dude's gonna get arrested too. And we'll have two yard birds who now become jail birds. Getting that prison loving. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. Love it. Love it.